Okay, I originally was not going to say anything about this trailer. It's like, oh, another sequel. I'll see it when it comes out. Whatever. I don't care. Then I saw the trailer out of curiosity because the thumbnail was quite intriguing. If that is supposed to be Leatherface, I don't know. I don't like that. So I, I just said, okay, fuck it. I'll watch the trailer. And now we're here. Hollywood has a serious Margot Robbie fetish. <laughs> Now that like, I don't think Leatherface ever had this trait where he would breathe really hard, but now that's a thing. He's doing that. I wish I could say that is most definitely not a ripoff of Michael Myers. <laughs> he copied my whole fucking flow. Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar. But considering this is a horror film that ignores the rest of the sequels and it's a direct sequel to the first film, just like Halloween 2018, they probably are ripping off Michael Myers. I'm just saying. Hi. So Harlow is a ghost town. Why are you going there, bitch? <laughs> We have a vision for this place. All it needs is young blood. Wait, we have a vision for this fucking ghost town. My dude, brother, black man, black man. Like, what are you doing? I mean, the premise could be worse. It could be a group of young influencers coming to gentrify an old rickety ghost town in the middle of Texas. That is the actual premise, by the way. You excited? <laughs> I mean, with everything happening, people jumping ship from a place with a butt fuck of high taxes to Texas. This premise actually makes a modicum of sense, but <laughs> and also they look really young. Oh, we're just going to take a whole town and gentrify it all for ourselves. We're influencers. Like, I don't understand how you can get away with this. <laughs> All it needs is some new blood. Okay, how much money do you actually have to refurbish and rehab an entire town? Wait, wait. It's... <laughs> I don't want to live here. This is a chance for people to start fresh somewhere. We got one rational person. I don't want to live here. <laughs> Yeah, like, why are you taking me here? In fact, uh, where are my parents? You kidnapped me. <laughs> we want to go to a place where there's no racism away from the rednecks without the high taxes of a liberal city. Hey guys, you should see this. Yeah, this family's last name changes so much that I, I don't know what their last name is, but this family, they had a house that was like miles and miles away from civilization. That's kind of the point. You can't be super cannibals and live right next to a small town where people will notice with a lot of foot traffic. Why would you, huh? What? There's a fuck, why are they living? <laughs> Oh, I do not like this. Well, there's so many wrong decisions being made. We got influencers, Leatherface looking like a baby in the microwave. We got so many, <laughs> so many problems. I don't know what's going on. We're one thing, why did you go in that house anyway? Oh, a house that's completely separate from this entire town. Like, fuck it, leave that alone. We'll just stick with all of the real estate we already found. This is hard, Steve. Zoli, I'm afraid your old friend's back. Oh, wait a <laughs> Survivor chick from the first movie. <laughs> oh, oh. Here's the thing. I, they're, I know what they're doing. They're trying to do the Halloween 2018 thing again. It's a direct sequel to the first film and they disregard all the other ones and they bring back an OG who's vengeful and ready to kill. Fine. But no, it doesn't. I don't think it works for this. My personal opinion. For one thing, she was so traumatized and fucked up by the end of the first film that you're just like, yeah, she just went somewhere and chilled out for the rest of her life. For the rest, like she just, just wanted peace. And here she's just like, well, she's like an old woman Rambo. <laughs> Damn, Shaq welding a machete. <laughs> Getting a call from her superior officer. Like he's back. Like what? I don't buy this. I just don't buy this. 50 years I've been waiting for this night. No, you haven't. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> you have 50 years. Didn't have any grandkids. Didn't sell it. Like, I've been, yeah, I've been holding on to this trauma and to this vengeance for 50 fucking years. At least Laurie Strode moved on and had some kids and some grandbabies. <laughs> this bitch is pussy drying up for 50 years. <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm gonna get Leatherface. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. If the first movie is anything to go by, which is what they want us to go by, he wasn't locked up. He wasn't killed. Why did you have to wait 50 years? <laughs> is that... <sighs> it's, like I said, it's not like Halloween 2018 where Michael Myers was locked up and then he escaped. Then Lori has to go out and get his ass because he's threatening her town and her family and she ain't having it. It makes sense. 
it doesn't make sense here <laughs> because it's such an obvious ripoff of what Halloween 2018 did that it just seems ridiculous. Like, oh yeah, we're, we're just copying things now. It doesn't feel earned. It doesn't feel authentic. It's like, uh, yeah, whatever, whatever. You need to make money. <laughs> That's what it is. 50 years I've been waiting for this night just to see him again. Who? Did she really say who? Who? Who you been running from this whole night, bitch? Wake up, read the room, read the slaughterhouse. <laughs> Try anything and you cancel, bro. Oh! <laughs> no, 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 I'm not having that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not accepting that movie. I'm all for mocking today's generation and their obsession with social media, clout and canceling people. I understand like you can make fun of that, that's fine. This ain't the way though. Uh, if you're gonna try to criticize the whole cancel culture thing, maybe have it be an instance where someone does not deserve to be canceled. Like how most of these instances play out. Not when a fucking bloodied skin mask wearing motherfucker is about to murder a bus full of people. I'm pretty sure that is very cancel worthy. Like <laughs> horrendously cancel worthy. That's number one. Number two, no one is this stupid. When people normally camera, like when they use their camera phone to capture something happening, it's usually to someone else, not to themselves. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna get mad views, bro. <laughs> No, you're not, because you're going to be fucking dead. Oh, fuck. You idiots. What are you doing? <laughs> so it's, it's, so yeah, we can already tell that this type of humor is going to be a little out of touch. I know you're trying to say something, but what you're saying is incomprehensible and ridiculous. And this is just a hunch, but I semi-recently saw the Wrong Turn remake. And if you don't want spoilers, and trust me, there need to be spoilers in order for me to roundly roundhouse kick this fucking trailer. Skip to this point in the video. The Wrong Turn remake, when you first watch it, you think it's going to be this out of touch boomer film. Like, yes, it's criticizing today's youth and how they act and how they're kind of like social justice warrior-y. It's understandable, but it comes off very awkward and weird at first until you understand where the movie is going, until shit really starts to pop off. And then when you see how it develops and what message is trying to convey through these characters, it's just like, oh shit, that's actually pretty good. Basically it's the same premise, a group of self-involved hipster, like, fucking assholes they go to this town they're very smug and they're very progressive you know and these group of people who we are led to believe are either mutants or something they start supposedly picking off their group one by one until they're all captured by this mysterious group and it turns out that they're actually human beings and a mostly civilized society they have no racism they have no classism like there's none of that it's completely purified of all that shit the only downside is, is that they uh they torture and kill people who don't follow their rules and poke out their eyes and stick them in a dark cave somewhere when they don't want to be around them which is yeah like they're not good people like, it's, just, it's this whole thing it's a whole this is why I, I can't even spoil it that much. But anyway, I think this new Texas Chainsaw Massacre is kind of cribbing off of that. They're trying to do that same theme. From the looks of the trailer, they failed miserably. <laughs> Try anything and you cancel. I could be wrong, but like, come on. Was I wrong about Matrix 4? <laughs> was I wrong about the craft legacy? The only thing I was actually kind of wrong about was Sonic. I know. But anyway, yeah, this looks like trash. <laughs> oh, Netflix, of course. Oh God, you guys are so awful. <laughs> I mean, far be it from me to poo-poo at a group of influencers being slaughtered by a Texan. <laughs> like we, we are a couple of months away from that actually happening. I mean, I will check it out for the lols, but yeah, this is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> this is shit. Ugh, have, have a nice day, everybody. I'm going to get back to writing my craft legacy review. Good night.